Hello guys and welcome back to the vlog. I am so excited for this one. I have been wanting to go to the beach for such a long time and we're just gonna have a little content day. I drove to my sister's house today. It was about eight hours. This is some dedication for a video, but I really wanted to first of all hang out with my sister and I've just really been craving the beach and just switching up my content a little bit. So that's what we're doing today. The first thing that I need to get done before I do my content day at the beach, which will be tomorrow is paint these nails. I'm gonna put some inspo on the screen. I don't know exactly which one I'm gonna do yet. I brought a few of my like tried and true colors so we're gonna see if I can pull some inspiration from the colors that I have. In retrospect I probably should have done this before I left home but I do everything last minute so can't do anything about it. But yeah I'll show you these nails when we're done because they look kind of gross and crusty right now. Okay bye! We love them. Honestly, I did mess up. Like, look at that one. But I think the overall feel of them is, like, kind of good. I'm shocked that I did it myself, to be completely honest, so... There they are. Before we go any farther in this vlog, I want to thank the sponsor of this portion of the video, Anna Luisa. If you guys follow me on Instagram, a few weeks ago at this point, I asked where you guys get your rings from, and so many of you said Anna Luisa. So I'm so happy to be working with them on their Mother's Day campaign. These are the three rings that I got from them. I am obsessed. I want to become a ring gal. I think they're so cute, so fun. And I just think the best people wear rings. These are the cutest little dainty gold rings. I literally just messed up my nails. You guys know that sustainability is really important to me and I'm so happy to say that Ana Luisa is carbon neutral, meaning they offset 100% of their carbon emissions related to production. They also offer fair prices on their website for all of the pieces uh, with no luxury markup. So they have pieces starting at $39, ranging to higher, more high-end jewelry pieces. So there is truly something for everybody. These rings are literally the best quality I've been wearing them since I got them in the mail for about a week now and I'm happy to report there's no green fingers. Finally they produce everything in limited batches to ensure highest production standards and eliminating excessive waste. The three rings that I got are these like I showed you before. I have just been wanting little tiny dainty gold rings and this one is probably my favorite. I just love the little croissant looking rings. I think they're so so cute this one is also super cute as well it is an adjustable ring so you don't have to like put in a size but I think that the size range on Ana Luisa is also amazing my fingers are a little bit on the thicker side so I was really happy to find rings that I can actually wear on my fingers and then the last one I got is somewhat of like a braided rope type of ring and I think it just looks super cute on my thumb I definitely want to get some more to just be blinged out. Currently, Ana Luisa's Mother's Day campaign is on, and if you guys want to get something for your mothers, there is a link down below with my little coupon code for 15% off. Make sure if you are in the U.S. to order by Wednesday, May 5th, and if you're international to order by Monday, May 3rd, so that you can make sure it gets there in time for Mother's Day. I hope that you guys enjoy these pieces. I will link down below these and a few that I think I'm going to get for my mom that I think would just be great options for any mom. But let's get back into the vlog. On Hilton Head Island. I am so excited to be here. We're walking to the beach. Such a nice day. I think it's supposed to get to about 75. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. We're taking a ton of Instagram photos today. Oh my gosh, I'm literally out of breath. Can't wait for you guys to see the pics. Go follow me on Insta. I'm 
set you guys up. I need to put on my jewelry. You guys know I need to get blinged out in my rings. But that's the tripod set up. It's go time. I'm really sorry if the wind is like insane, but I'm at the beach, so can't really do anything about it. But I just changed into my swimsuit. I'm wearing my swimsuit and then a little like cover button down shirt. I think I really want to take like an up angle of just my hands and my shirt and my swimsuit underneath under that little lonely palmetto tree. This day is just amazing and there's literally no one for miles. And I'm so happy to be alive today. There's just some days where I'm just like, wait, my life is just amazing and this is beautiful and this is one of those days. I went to Whole Foods because I am just hungry. So I'm gonna do a little Whole Foods haul. Pineapple and coconut. Do you just eat coconut meat like this? It's not what I thought it would be. The next thing that I got is just some watermelon. Also got these because I think it would be a cute little prop for my next photo. An orange, a Quest bar because I really just need to get in some protein. I love these chocolate bars, they're so good. I just got milk chocolate. Also look at my nails. Like the fact that I did that, I go back and forth between they're really, really ugly or they're really, really cute. This is the scariest bug I think I've ever seen in my entire life. grocery store so we're gonna have a little grocery haul you guys know I have two eggs every single morning some chicken sausage broccoli herb tahini sauce I'm obsessed with this coconut and almond creamer salmon strawberries chicken shawarma thighs oranges applesauce and two jugs of my all-time favorite coffee Groceries have been put away and I just got changed into some comfy clothes. I really had the idea that I was gonna spend the entire day at the beach, but that just wasn't the case. I was feeling so tired and kind of just like I wanted to come home and get some work done. So I'm about to get started on editing a few vlogs, but I wanted to ask you guys a question because on my way home, I was listening to some music and the other day I heard a Shania Twain song in a gas station and I was like, oh, I want to listen to Shania Twain. I never, I, I don't. It's like that thing you have random cravings for and Shania Twain is that for me. I just never listen to her. Like I don't listen to her on a regular occasion, but sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to listen to Shania Twain. I was listening to one of the songs and I think it's Forever and Always. It was literally unlocking memories that I didn't even remember I had. One of them, what, well all of the memories are from when I lived in Texas. That song came out I think in like the early 2000s, maybe like 2001, 2002. 
and that was when I lived in Texas and I remember my mom I think my sisters and then myself driving around listening to that song in Kaching. those two songs I just remember so vividly and then the second memory that I had from this is so strange and random but I went to a daycare called five plus two in Houston Texas two teachers that I can remember they're the only two that I can remember but they are so vivid in this memory and so I remember us like listening to songs like that to fall asleep to for nap time. So I had two teachers and the only things that I remember about them, so one was a boy, his name is Mr. Herman. I just remember his mustache. And I also remember like when I was a kid, I was pretty mischievous. I, honestly, I still am like, if you knew me, it's so funny because everyone always comments like, you seem so sweet in your vlogs. And I'm just like, do I? <laughs> Whenever we got in trouble, which I I don't think I got in trouble a lot, but I remember when I got in trouble and so he would come and talk to us. He would kneel down to be like on my level. So we're looking like eye to eye. And I just remember whenever he talked, all I saw was his mustache. <laughs> and his breath was literally so bad. I remember this because he would always I it would make me not want to do bad things because I was like, I do not want to have to smell his breath. <laughs> and I don't know why this is like the memory that I'm, that I'm gathering from this song. But then the other memory from the other teacher, which this is what I want to ask you guys about because honestly, this just sounds fabricated, but I'm remembering it as if it actually happened. So there was a teacher named Miss Maria and she was so nice, so kind. Um... But she, and she always told us these stories like about her childhood or just about her life in general. And I remember her telling us that she ate dragonfly sandwiches. And I remember all of the kids being like, what? Like you eat dragonflies? Oh my gosh. Me as an adult thinking about that, I'm like, there's no way this woman told us that she ate dragonflies. So I'm thinking, did I make this up? Like are half of the memories that I having my brain made up are they a fabrication i just don't know okay i need to stop stalling and get on to editing my videos i'm not going to look at my pictures because i just like doing that after hours i guess if that makes sense i like doing that when i'm chilling watching netflix not when i feel like i need to be doing other things because i don't even post it this time i typically post like at 9 p.m. I don't know. I post late. I just actually I just post whenever I want to post. But <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, gonna get to editing and I will talk to you guys later. I am editing this video right now and realized that I forgot to film an outro. Once again, I just want to thank Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video and for giving me the cutest pieces of jewelry. If you guys are interested in shopping their jewelry, whether it's their Mother's Day collection or anything else on their website, I will leave my link down below where you can get 15% off. Make sure you put in your orders if you're in the US by May 5th and if you're international by May 3rd, if you are intending for these to be for your mother on Mother's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!